Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today finally is the full phase of Miss A makeup. Now Miss A is a website where literally everything, every makeup product you can think of is $1. I did get all of these products from their actual store. Yes, they have like an actual physical store. All right guys, I see the store. It's right there, let's go in. I went to the store, I filmed a video for you guys, I took you guys along with me and I showed you guys everything that they have. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out also do not forget about the giveaway that i currently have going on i'm giving away five to four gift cards and five auto gift cards so if you want to enter the giveaway it is super easy just make sure to show love on my channel on my social medias like this video share subscribe but also if you want an extra chance of winning there is a link down below it will literally be the very first one in the description box enter the link follow the steps and that's your entry so super easy to enter the giveaway but other than that i am so excited the fact that i'm gonna do everything like foundation primer lashes lipstick everything for one dollar i am so excited i want to see what it's all about i'm going to give you all the tea you never know there might be some hits there might be some misses so we'll figure out throughout the video how i like the products so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I do want to clarify this is not, not, not <laughs> a tutorial. I wanted to clarify that. Basically, I'm just reviewing the products. I'm not mostly going into detail of what I'm doing. This is just me reviewing the products, letting you know what I think about these $1 products. So I am going to be starting with my brows. And this right here is the Sculpting Brow Pencil. If you do see me looking down, I'm looking down at my monitor. I got a monitor. I feel like such like professional now but anyways so i got a monitor so that's why i'm looking down if you see me okay but i'm starting out with the sculpting brow pencil and i'm not really too excited about this because it is very chunky tip let me put it more on top there you go it's more of a chunky tip and i'm more into like thin tips for example this one i like mine skinny like this and this one's thick so yeah so i'm going to be using this one and i'm going to be grabbing this palette as a mirror so i can see mostly what i'm doing and we're going to start with the brows let's see i'm really excited to see how this is i really hope this is also my color it feels very waxy i don't know if you can see here it's like very very waxy which i don't know how i feel about that because i want my brows to still look like my brows not too like fake so we are gonna keep working with it to see how it is. I mean, the brow's not bad, right? The brow's totally not bad. It looks like it is my shade, but it's starting to look a little bit too orangey, but we'll go with it. So now let's do this brow. There's always that one brow that's always like really good. And then there's always that other brow that needs a little bit, mm, like it always needs extra help. This sister right here always needs help. This one is always like on point. It's like, it doesn't even need no work done. And I always have to help her out. And I'm like, girl, get it together, okay? So final thoughts on the pencil. It's actually not bad. I think it's kind of like my shade. I think I did pretty good. But I mean, honestly, I'm not mad at it for $1. I think it's really not bad at all. I really like that it still looks like my brow. It doesn't look too fake or too like artificial but i really like the pencil so far so so far yay we have a product that we like for the pencil so yes kudos for the pencil now i'm going to clean my brows now i'm going to be using this concealer this is the wonder cover hd concealer now this concealer really reminds me of the packaging of the kylie cosmetics concealers except hers were a little bit smaller but doesn't the packaging look similar i think it looks similar so girl let me tell you something when i was at the store lighting is very different to the lighting outdoors so <laughs> when i got outside i was like oh my god this is like hella white so we're just gonna go with it we're gonna see how this works so you know what let's just let's just go for it let's just go and i also did get some brushes for one dollar like yes this is one of the brushes this is very thin this is actually a f16 brush and i got this one because i'm going to be doing a cut crease later on for the eye and i thought this will be really good for my brows as well so mostly let's focus on the concealer right now yes it's definitely girl she is white oh my god oh my god what did I do? <laughs> okay let's go ahead and keep on cleaning the brows all right so as is it's gliding very like nicely on the skin i'm not gonna lie do you see how like it's like just like gliding like butter 
The thing is, it's drying very quickly. Um, so that means that this concealer, you do have to work with it really, really fast. So, so far, the $1 products are not bad. Who said you had to go to Sephora and waste like $200 to look good? Girl. And I'm gonna take my blender. This is the Morphe blender. This is the one I'm going to be using. Um, there was other blenders, but I'm gonna be honest. I was like so excited that I showed you the blenders, but I didn't get a blender. So I'm gonna use my Morphe one So I'm just going to start blending this out now as you can see definitely. Yeah, the concealer is drying very very quickly it, Like immediately it started drying So I don't think it's gonna be possible with the sponge because it is starting to get very very dry So let's try a brush. This is actually oh, this is an other miss a brush E115, I previously already had this one, so we're just gonna use this to blend it out. Okay, I just wanna show you that it is getting a little bit trickier to blend out the concealer, just like I said, because it is getting a little bit dry. As you can see here, I have to use my finger now because it's getting really, really dry. And it feels very like rubbery as I am blending it out. So the concealer right now, so far, I'm not liking it. It's not my favorite one. Okay, now the concealer is completely blended out. As of right now, I am not liking the concealer. It was getting super, super dry when it came to like blending it out and it was getting harder and harder the more time that I let it sit on my face. But I'm not gonna give you like my final review of the concealer until I am done using it for my under eye area. So for the concealer right now, it's a little bit like, mm, but we'll see. Now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. This is the eyeshadow primer perfect. I'm gonna be dotting a couple on my eyelid hmm this has kind of like a scent as well but it's not too bad I smelled like worse things in this so I'm just going to blend this out with my finger now for my eyeshadow I am going to try to recreate this look right here so um, I feel like I do have very similar colors with this palette so I'm gonna try to recreate it and if you guys do not follow me on snap make sure to go follow me because I'm gonna be posting a lot of makeup tutorials on snapchat and also if you haven't followed me on Instagram make sure to go follow me because I post a lot of makeup pictures if you're into makeup or OTDs all that stuff so yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and work with the eyes. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using this I'm a Beach, that's what it's called. And these palettes, when I saw them, I was not shook, I was shooketh. Because I couldn't believe that these palettes were so inexpensive. So let me tell you, each individual shadow is $1. So I paid $9 for these nine shadows. And then the palette by itself is $1. And I couldn't believe that the palette is $1. It comes with a mirror, plus it's magnetic. Like, yes, honey, Miss A, you are doing it. So I'm going to be playing with these shadows to see what they look like. I'm interested to see if they're pigmented. So we're going to get right into it because I am so excited. So I'm going to be taking, let's see, we're going to take this yellow shadow right here. We're going to put this as our crease color all over our crease. So I'm going to take this. This is a high def brush E103. I mean, the pigment is there a little bit, not too much. They're definitely really, really powdery. There has a lot of fallout. But you guys already know, that doesn't bother me. As long as it blends out and the penguin is there, I don't care if it has fallout. But we'll see how these blend out. That's what I really want to know. I feel like they blended out kind of good. I was honestly like quite scared because I was like, oh my God, what if it blends out horrible with the primer? But it honestly blended really good. It was, I mean, it's not bad. I'm gonna be taking this color right here, which is kind of like a burgundy color with this brush. And we're just gonna swirl it around. This one doesn't have fallout actually. That's funny. This one doesn't have fallout compared to this one. This one is kind of a really matte color and this was more of a satin color. This one, no fallout whatsoever. And then this one had so much fallout. Just wanted to put that out there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this very deep in the crease. Ooh, these colors are layering very, very pretty together. It's not taking away the yellow. It's not taking away the color I put on top. Girl, I'm surprised right now. This is actually really good. Now, the fun part is going to be this brown. I really wanna see if this brown is really pigmented, how it's gonna blend out, because browns are so hard to like make and get a really good brown, so we'll see. I'm gonna take, this is another high def brush, 808. We're gonna dip it into the brown. Put it all over the outer corner. No, 
This is turning into a disaster. So I think it was definitely this brush that was messing everything up because I did start using this brush that is a profusion brush and it I think it's actually saving the look. So the brown is actually not bad. It was the brush that was making it look bad. Sorry. All right, now I'm going to start working on my cut crease. So I'm gonna be taking the Wonder Cover Concealer, HD Concealer, and the brush that I used earlier for my brows. This is the F16, and we're gonna start cutting the crease. I'm gonna put just a little bit in the back of my hand. And here we go. Okay, we have the cut already creased, the cut crease. We have the cut already creased, the crease cut, honey, get it together. Okay, so we already have the crease cut. Is that what you say? I already have my cut crease on, girl. Okay, so I have everything ready now. I'm going to be taking this teal color right here, which looks so pretty. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait to put it on my eyes. And I'm gonna be taking the E115 brush. And we're just going to just start pressing this on top of the concealer. This concealer is so dry, y'all. Let me tell y'all, it's so so dry. But we're just gonna go with it. Go with it and see how it works out. Mm, girl, this teal didn't come to play any games. She is here to work. Oh my god. Yes, yes, a hundred times yes. I am loving this freaking color. So far this blue is giving me life. I was not expecting this teal color to be that pigmented and really, really pretty. The only thing is they do have a lot of fallout. It just depends. Like for me personally, fallout doesn't really bother me. If they're pigmented and they blend on nicely, then I really don't care. But everyone has different opinions and everyone does their makeup differently. So honestly, I like the shadows for $1. They're not bad. I'm gonna finish off camera my other eye and then I'll be back. Now that the eyes are complete, I'm gonna move on with my liner. I'm not gonna do like a complete wing because I do want like the blue and everything to be the focus of the eyes. But I'm gonna take this Wonder Liquid Liner and I'm literally gonna make like a super thin line. So then that's where I'm gonna set my lashes. All right, next we are going to move in with lashes. Now, I got so overwhelmed in that store that I showed mascaras, yet I didn't grab a mascara. So the only mascara I have right now is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. So I'm gonna be using this mascara just to curl my lashes. All right, mascara is on, and now it's time to move with the lashes. I'm going to be using these, which are the AOA Studio. These are in the style Emma. These are in black Emma. And we're going to pop these on. I'm excited. I didn't find an eyelash glue. Maybe I didn't look like very good in there, but I'm going to be using my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. There's actually like three bucks at Walmart, and it's one of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite lash glues. Like once you put it on your lashes, it doesn't go anywhere, so I'm gonna pop on these lashes. Now to apply my lashes, I'm gonna be getting these tweezers. All right, so these are the lashes on. They actually are not bad, but they're not as dramatic as I would like with this eye look, but we're just gonna go ahead and go work with it. The lashes, they do feel like a dollar. I'm not gonna lie, they do feel like a dollar, but for today's look, it will do. So now I'm going to color correct. Oh no, first I need primer, hello. I'm gonna be using this Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. Ooh, this actually smells so good. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. This actually smells quite good. Okay, so this feels like silicone. Yeah, okay, so it's like a silicone base, which are my favorite kind of primers. The primer doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It mostly feels just like water gliding on my face, but yeah, it doesn't really, I don't feel like it did much. But we're gonna move on. I am gonna color correct my under eye area and I'm going to be using this Wonder Cover HD Concealer and this one is in Peach 2307. Two, three, and yeah, these have a really bad scent. Hmm. This actually doesn't look bad. I feel like it definitely did do the job. It corrected my under eye area and it's getting rid of all the dark pigmentation. So this concealer looks like it's actually not bad. It's doing, it's getting its job done. So they do dry very, very easily though. That's something to keep in mind with these concealers. 
Okay, now we're gonna move on to foundation. Now, the only foundation I found is this Amuse Cosmetics Matte Finish Foundation. I'm thinking this might match me. Cross your fingers it does because I am the worst, worst person when it comes to matching foundation to myself. So we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna pour a little bit in the back of my hand. It smells like, I'm very, I'm like very huge on scents. I don't know if you noticed that by now, but I literally smell everything that I'm gonna put on my face. And it doesn't really smell like anything. It doesn't really have a like a scent to it. So yeah, there we go. So we're gonna go in with my Morphe sponge. I'm just gonna go in with it and hopefully it's my shade girl because right now just like, ooh. I wanna see also if it's a really good full coverage, but we'll see. If it hides the freckles, it's full coverage, girl. I would say medium to full. Definitely medium to full coverage. Do you think it's my skin tone color? <gasps> I think it's my skin tone color. Oh my God. I think it's my skin tone color. Oh my God, I think I did good. Okay, but let's, I, I hate when I see something and then I jinx myself and then it oxidizes and it's not my shade, but we'll see. So far, it's blending really nice. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It feels like a BB cream. That's exactly what it feels like, but it has more coverage than a BB cream. Dude, I hella hope this is my shade, cuz. So this is what a one layer of foundation looks like. We're gonna go in with the second layer. I put about, I say like one squirt, and that's what came out. So we're gonna start building it up to see if it gets more coverage. And definitely, I got a little bit more coverage than the first coat, which lets me know that this is actually a buildable foundation. Okay, now this is the most scariest slash fun part because now I have to apply the concealer into my eye area. <laughs> so give this video a big thumbs up for good luck because I don't know how this concealer is going to blend underneath the eye area and it looks like it's going to be way too just white for my skin tone color. But you know what, we, we just gotta get it over with and just go for it. Oh my God, I was gonna apply the eyeshadow primer underneath. Girl, get it together, honey. This one, this is the one that I'm gonna apply underneath my eye area. So let's apply a little bit first. Damn, the looks. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Oh my God, I feel like this foundation is oxidizing. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, I feel like it's oxidizing, holy moly. Please do not oxidize on me. Please, please, please don't do me dirty for this video. Okay, we're, we gotta start blending this like rapido, 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 because this is gonna like dry right away. Oh my God, this could literally turn into a disaster within seconds. Oh my God. Okay, so this is as good as it's gonna get. Oh my God. Breathe, Peter, breathe, it's okay. This looks like such a hot mess right now. But we're just gonna go with it and pretend everything is okay. I'm going to cream contour my face with, again, the same Wonder Cover HD Concealer, and this one's in coffee. <laughs> and we're just gonna apply it right here. Basically everywhere where I wanna contour, and especially the nose. I don't know what it was, but the coffee shade blended better than this shade, which is weird. So this one blended better, this one blended better than this one for some reason, but they're the same concealers, just different colors. So now we're going to set the face and I am using this perfect setting powder. Now they didn't have translucent, so I got the brightening powder. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna take this sponge, which I did get this one. This is to basically bake and set the under eye area. And I actually really like this. I feel like I'm actually gonna save this one and use it for my Laura Mercier translucent powder. But we're just gonna go ahead and put this under the eye area and let it just sit there and bake. Okay, so my camera died while I was baking and I was not gonna leave the powder on until my battery completely charged because it was just gonna be a tragedy if I did. So after the foundation, I'm not even gonna give you my review, everything went downhill. Then I set my face with this LOL face powder, which I think rescued it a little bit, but still, 
I feel like it's a tragedy going on, but we're going to go ahead and contour the face. I'm using this contour trio. So far this bronzer, I don't feel like it's doing anything. So Ashley, one of the pita chips recommended me this blush and she said it was really good. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see what it's all about. Grabbing a little bit in this brush. Oh my God, this is so chalky, the contour trio. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Ooh, so dang, that blush is kind of like a highlight. Hmm, I'm really liking this one. Oh, I feel like this one would look really pretty with like a full coverage foundation. <laughs> okay, I, I like this one. I like this one so far. This contour trio is not working out for me as well as the setting powder and the brightening powder and the foundation went from like medium coverage to no coverage. Okay, now I'm also really, really excited because Ashley said this was one of like the best highlights. So I'm gonna be using this as a highlight. Honey. <gasps> Ashley, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Whoa, I was so not expecting that. Especially because honestly, this does not look like it's gonna be blinding whatsoever. It, no, it doesn't, but mm, it might be a little bit too, way too light for my skin tone though. That's like the only bad thing right now. But I mean, it's still blinding. I like it. I'm gonna take the same shadow we used for our eyeshadow. I'm gonna use it for our lower lash. I'm gonna take this shadow right here. Okay, then I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this shadow and use it as the inner corner. Now we're gonna move on to lips. I'm going to be using, this is the Wonder Lip Liner and this one is in the shade, let's see. Shade Bombshell and we're going to just line my lips. Now for lip liners, I've said it a million times. Lip liners, I'm not picky, it can be $1, $6. Lip liners to me, they all do the same thing. Now I'm gonna be using my matte lipstick and this one is in the shade one, but the lip liner, I really did like it. So I'm gonna use this and put it all over my lips. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Did you see that? Oh my God, I looked like super paled. We're just going to fill in our lips with the lip liner, we're gonna improvise now. Okay, so I mixed a little bit of the lip liner with this one and this is the color that I got which is better than the bright nude we were gonna use. Now I'm going to top it off with this diamond lip gloss and this one is in the shade Pixie. <gasps> oh my God, that is gorgeous. <gasps> oh my God, I was so not expecting that. All right, so I applied the lip gloss and I actually quite really like it. As you guys saw, <laughs> putting on that other lipstick was just a tragedy. I looked way too pale, so it didn't work out for me. So this is the completed look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite products and then if you don't see any of the products here, then that means they didn't work out for me. So we're gonna start off with the obvious, the I'm a Beach Palette. Girl, hands down, you have to go ahead and get this palette. If you have like the actual physical store near you, go to the store or just go ahead and order it online. But honestly, they have three more palettes. This is one of them. They have a total of four, so they have other three combinational palettes that you can go ahead and check out. I know next week I have to go back to Fourth Word, so I'm definitely gonna get another one of these palettes because they're so, so good. And the fact that the palette with nine shadows was only 10 bucks, Yes, please. So really, really like this one. Another one of my favorites is the blush and the highlighters. Oh my God, these two are so gorgeous. I feel like it just makes you look very radiant and glowy. So definitely blush, highlighter, my favorite ones. As for the lip gloss, I really do like the lip gloss. I feel like it's really pretty. Like when you wanna wear like a very natural look or whenever you're doing something very dramatic with your eyes like today and something subtle on the lips. Whatever it is, I like the lip gloss, really like it. Also the lip liner, really liked it as well. And and then another favorite is the Sculpting Brow Pencil. I really liked how I made my brows look. I'm not a big fan of like the chunky tip, but I did like this one. And then these are mostly like tools, the tweezers. I'm so glad I found another pair of these. And tweezers as well. I feel like these are necessities in your kit or like your makeup bag. 
And then this little sponge, it seems like very basic, but honestly, I feel like this, if I use it with my powder, the one I always use, which is the Laura Mercier, to bake underneath and to bake underneath the cheek area, it's just gonna be perfect. It's like the right size and it fits very well underneath. So yeah, that's it for this video. Do not forget, if you guys really like makeup tutorials or tutorials in general, um, I am gonna be posting so many more makeup tutorials on my Snapchat. I used to do that. If you're an OG and you stay with me for a really long time on Snapchat, you know that that's all I was dedicated to when I first started using my Snapchat. I would do so many tutorials, but then with YouTube and like being a mom, it got a little harder. So now I'm determined to get back on my grind and post so many tutorials for you guys on Snapchat. So if you haven't followed me, make sure to go follow me. Uh, I'm thinking of posting a tutorial very, very soon. And then also I'm starting to do notification shout outs. So all you have to do is like this video, share this video, obviously subscribe, turn on your post notifications and comment down below whatever you want. And in the next video, I will announce the notification shout out. And is there anything else? Oh, also stay very tuned because like I said, the microscope video will be going up and you guys will be seeing what all this makeup looks like under a microscope. And other than that, that is it for this video. I love you guys so, so much. If you liked me, my content or this video, do not forget to subscribe so you can be part of the PHF family. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, my loves. Make sure you're subscribed so you can watch all of my videos. And if you want to keep on watching more and more videos, make sure to check out yesterday's video. You are not going to want to miss it. It's amazing. Also, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, make sure to subscribe to that vlogging channel right there. And if you can't get enough of me, here is my Spanish channel so you can go ahead and subscribe. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.